Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. So I'm here at a job site right now and I just want to take a few minutes to talk about bronze wool versus quad zero steel wool and kind of the pros and cons of both. So with bronze wool pads like these, there's also bronze wool that comes with like, like steel wool does. I don't buy that very often. Um, the one bronze wool I use is these bronze wool pads. These can also be used by the DA component pad holder for water fed pole work. And then it's attachment that goes on to your Euro thread attachment. And that's awesome for water fed pole work. It's really changed my game with water fed pole trusting that it can clean really, really dirty glass. As far as using quad zero steel wool, I only really use that anymore for touching up little stuff on the glass. Um, this window right here is dirty, but I can kind of show you. So like literally, if you, if, if you didn't clean the glass, steel wool almost buffs out and doesn't really leave any streaks behind. Now there's some glass that when you even buff it out with a little bit of steel wool, it leaves behind marks, not marks that are permanent, but just dirty marks. You kind of have to re-clean the window again. That's why I kind of don't like using it. Um, I used to use a white pad and steel wool together, but this right here has eliminated that for me and has made it so much easier. For homes, it's a one-step extra scrub. It's not a white pad, then a steel wool, then a razor. Of course, your razor is going to take off stuff like paint um, a lot easier. Debris that you just can't get off with anything else. This will take off pretty much all silicone, any heavy amount of dirt that's been uh, that's on the glass. It just, for me, in this last year, it's just been a huge game changer. These are a little more expensive, though, than your normal quad zero steel wool that you're going to buy at Home Depot or anything like that. But I would say it's worth it. I don't understand why you wouldn't be using these for homes or anything else or doors at storefronts or just extra dirty glass in restaurants, greasy fingerprints. I just use these everywhere, and they last so, so long. Um... And I also, what I do is I take them off my DA component pad holder so that I'm not, those only get used like on a small strip really. And you can't really like turn them. At least I haven't figured a way to turn them and put new holes in them. So I just take those off, put a brand new one on that, and then take that and use that at work. Now this is a brand new one. I needed it one day, so I started using that. But this lasts you like almost a month. So I mean, it's so worth it. I think they're like five bucks a piece. I don't think they're much more than that. Um, Quad Zero Steel Wool though, what I found with that, I used to use that always for construction cleans or normally at houses. It just rusts. You know, it's going to rust on you within four hours and it's just kind of messy. Um, if you're using it with your water and it's rusting, it leaves like an orange stuff behind. If you're doing stuff with like white baseboards, I mean white frames and stuff, wooden frames, you can leave behind kind of an orange color a little bit. Not like you're not going to like repaint the frame, but um, I definitely would just suggest using quad zero steel wool for touching up little bug spots or something that might still be in the window after you've cleaned it and it will clean that right off. So my biggest suggestion for that. And then if you just don't have any of this, take your quad zero steel wool and I unfold them and then fold them into a, a piece of like as big as my hand. So it, it helps, it helps a lot. Um, so for me, I like this the best. Um, this is just eliminated so many steps for me that I, I like it the best and then quad zero steel wool for touching up little bug spots or fingerprints or stuff like that in restaurants so um, another helpful tip is if you are having troubles with fingerprints do magic eraser works really really well the Windex magic eraser for getting out fingerprints or silicone also construction cleans not heavy heavy silicone I would suggest razoring over it first and then taking out the magic eraser it can help so so much but I hope this helps you on kind of defining the differences between bronze wool and quad zero steel wool and um, I would definitely suggest bronze wool over quad zero steel wool. Have a good day guys. Another cool trick with the bronze wool pad is is that if you have a French cut up window like this so instead of having a little six inch mop you just take your bronze wool pad take your sleeve go like that and then just use that to work into the window. Instead of having to go through a couple different steps of mopping it than steel wooling, 
you're just doing it all in one. Oh my god. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com.